Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and it's time to announce the week two winner of my Legend of Korra giveaway, and they just posted the last part of Republic City Hustle, so I thought I'd do a review of that too. So first things first, congrats to the Reagan. You are the week two winner of my Legend of Korra giveaway. You get to choose whether you want a DVD or Blu-ray. I'll be messaging you on your channel in case you don't see this video. Don't worry if you didn't win this week, you still have four more chances to win. Details in the description. Anybody that sent me entries after 12 p.m. on Saturday is automatically entered for week three. Remember, each week is a new round. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and write below in the comments what's the moment you're looking forward to most in book two and what would you do if you became the next avatar. Now for my review of Republic City Hustle. So Nickelodeon made these three Republic City Hustle videos to help everyone get ready for Legend of Korra to come back. Remember, it's been off the air for a while, so I think they just want to get everyone ready for it to come back. Think of it as like a healthy reminder. Hey, Legend of Korra is coming back. Please come back to us. We want you to watch our show. Even though I feel like the diehard fans kind of do a lot of that work for them. Let me know what you thought of the Republic City Hustle art style. I'm really terrible at art, so maybe one of you can comment on what this art style is. But remember, they're also using a unique art style for wand scenes in book two. So even though these webisodes were really short, I really enjoyed them. I mean, any core content is good core content. It really just follows Mako and Bolin from their time with Shady Shin to their time in the Pro Bending Arena and the beginning of the Fire Ferrets, as well as meeting Pabu for the first time. I love that all the actors came back to do their own voices for the characters. I feel like PJ Byrne, though, probably has the most fun doing Bolin. Don't you just feel like you can hear him laughing in between his lines in the recording booth? I love the second episode the most, just because it's when they met Pabu, and I feel like Pabu is about as close as you can get to being a person on the show without being an actual person. They use Naga a lot for reaction shots, but like a lot of big dogs, if you've ever had a big dog, they just kind of sit there and they might smile at you a little bit but they don't anthropomorphize like small animals or like even like cats do. So Pabu is basically like the extra member of the Fire Ferrets who doesn't actually fight in the ring. Overall, I rate Republic City Hustle as a B plus just because they're really good, even though the episodes are really short. I would have given it an A, but it didn't do anything to really set up the story in book two or teach you about any of the things that are going on in the Water Tribe right now, leading to the conflict that's going to be happening in book two. If you look at other shows like Doctor Who, they use web content to fill the gaps between seasons, which I feel is really, really good. If you do want to find out what's happening in that first episode, I did spoilery and non-spoilery reviews of the first episode. I got to see it at Comic-Con. I'll have links in the description. But remember, it's coming back on the 13th, that's a Friday, at 7 p.m. And I'm expecting that all the episodes will air at this time each week, but I'll be sure to post an update if that changes. I'll be doing weekly Korra content, including episode reviews and other cool stuff. Be sure to subscribe to get all those videos. I love talking about Korra with you guys. And if you really want to help me out, be sure to like and share this video using the share bar below. While we wait to find out who the week three winner is in my Korra giveaway, you can click here to learn all about Ben Affleck becoming the new Batman. And you can click here to learn all about Sherlock series two. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next week. High five.